What's up everybody, Corey Gregory, co-founder of Muscle Farm. And as you can see, I'm standing in front of Quicken Loans Arena, home of the 2015 NBA Finals. I'm about to walk around the corner and meet Specialist Lewis and Sergeant Sellers because they're accompanying me to game four of the NBA Finals. And I'm telling you, it is so live in Cleveland. I can't wait. Hello everybody, my name is Sergeant First Class Gary Sellers. And I'd like to thank the USO for nominating me to go to the game with Corey and Muscle Farm. Go Cavs! Hi, I'm Darren Lewis, retired specialist of the US Army. I'd like to thank the USO of Northern Ohio and Corey from Muscle Farm for giving me this opportunity to be here. Go Cavs! We're here in front of the queue. Now these guys, I'm from Columbus. These guys are actually from Cleveland. What's the finals mean to you fellas, huh? Uh, it means everything. I've been waiting all my life for a championship today. Going down, two more wins. Two more wins. Oh, two, yeah. more wins. two more. We've been waiting all our life for this. Well, I have. <laughs> so. <laughs> I know I have. I'm 45 years old, man. The closest I've came was the Indians. The <laughs> ninth well, and, no, extra Indians. Going that lead. <laughs> and I know I'm, that y'all both saw how hype it was last night. Oh, oh yeah. I crazy. can't <laughs> wait to get down there. It was so, crazy. So, Specialist Lewis, tell me about uh, about your story a little bit and what basketball has meant to you and kind of things you've been doing up here since you've been back home. Uh, well, starting with me, it happened July 11, 2012, in Afghanistan when a uh, roadside bomb, uh, lost a buddy, and uh, I had lost my leg, and I bruised and broke every bone on my right side, so it was all filled with rods and screws from the hip down. So. I was in uh, rehab at San Antonio, rehabbing, and my, my therapist was like, because I never talked to nobody, so he was like, oh, well, do you play any sports? What you like to do? So I was like, well, I play basketball and football. So they like, well, we got a wounded warrior team. Would you like to play? So I was like, I'll give it a shot. So I tried out, and I sucked, like air and <laughs> oh, it was crazy. The different but, angles oh, shooting yeah, from there. Oh, yeah, it is. I'm sitting down. So I just had to work at it. He said, if you want to get in, you got to practice. So I just be in the gym by myself, because I love, you know, love the game. So quite therapeutic, right? Oh yeah, it was. It's like when you out there on the court, you don't even think, I don't even think about my injury. It's just, feel great. Especially when LeBron came, it just, ah, uh, man, took it to another level. It's, it's more than basketball, like, crazy. And when he got out of the truck today, pan down, look at these shoes right here, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> he was killing it. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about yourself. Sorry, um, sorry. Well, I am a starting first class. I've been in the military since 1987. I had a break in service because my first wife she passed away, so I had to raise my little son by myself. Now he's a grown man and he's joined the military and doing great things for the country. Um, I donated a kidney to my father who was a first star um, in the National Guard and he needed some help so I helped him out. And, um, I've been doing this ever since. I work at Kent State right now. Okay. I'm trying to put people in the, in the arms. And get them so you're recruiting right now? Yes, I am. Okay, cool. What have you been up to lately? Uh, just working out, uh, getting ready for the off season. Hopefully, trying to make Team USA. That's my ultimate goal. Oh, okay. For the Paralympics. Nice. Just being the dad to my girls. <laughs> I love it. So you have how many kids? Uh, two. I have a, a two-year-old and a six-month-year-old. That's cool. And I have three. One, one is my own, and yeah. then I got two children by married. Okay. They're mine. Too. And they're 25, 22, and 18. So you guys might have potentially a lot of people watching this. Is there anything you want to say, whether it's about the Cavs, whether it's about life, anything? It's your stage right now. What you got for me? Go Cavs. <laughs> Support the Wheelchair Cavaliers. We're number one. <laughs> and I just want to thank everybody who showed support to the military. We really appreciate it because especially me being a veteran, we feel like people forgot about us and stuff like that. So I just want to appreciate everybody in Cleveland. Thank you. I just want to say we're all in. Can't wait for it. Championship banner to be raised up in the queue. Two more wins, we got this. And I want to thank the nation for all the support. I go around in the uniform all day and get support from everybody saying thanks for your service and we really do appreciate it. Well, I can honestly say I'm humbled to sit with you guys at game four and it's going to be live. Uh, and we are man. guaranteed to have some fun. I appreciate <laughs> you guys. Right. Thank, thank you very much. Absolutely. Thank you.